Hello guys, this is Hiro Kovi Rashid. I am a motion graphic designer from Bangladesh, a small country of South Asia. That's why you have this weird accent. And this is my YouTube channel, uh, where I put uh, many tutorials about motion graphic on After Effects. So, today we are going to learn this. Before we begin our tutorial, please be sure to subscribe our channel and click the bell icon then send me on notification for this channel and press the save button that's how you can get all the notification for our uploads at first import all the necessary files the download link will be in the description create a new composition and name it main now put your logo to the timeline and adjust the size now create a white solid by pressing ctrl y and bring it down apply their gradient tramp effect now swap color and switch to radial mode now make it look like this Comp your logo and rename it logo. Duplicate it by pressing Ctrl D and apply Vegas effect to the top layer. Unview the second layer. Now rename the first layer outline. Now go to effect control panel and follow my instruction. Now take keyframe for length and rotation and make a animation like me. Now select the second layer, duplicate it and make it visible. Now apply their tint effect and rename the layer tint. Okay, now make a solid layer, black solid layer by pressing Ctrl Y and pre comp it, rename it reveal tint. Now go to that composition and create a ellipse mask from the center. Now follow my instruction. Now duplicate the layer. and change the color like this now reveal its mask property by pressing M and duplicate the mask select the second mask reduce its size and make it subtract from add It should look like this. For a moment make the black solid layer invisible and create a duplicate of the deep green layer. Once again change the colors 
and reveal its mask properties. Select all two masks and just move it from there. Once again you have to follow the similar steps, just duplicate it, change the color. Reveal the mask property, select all those masks and just drag it to there. Now make visible the black solid and drag it at the top. Now just drag those layers randomly like this. Now go back to your main comp and select the tint layer and set the alpha mat for its track mat. Now select both of these layer and drag them from one second. Now once again select the tint layer and apply their irish wipe effect. And follow my instruction. After animating outer radius, drag your main logo to the first keyframe. It should look like this. Now take a rectangular shape and make a shape which should have a gradient color which should look like this. And apply the earth. CC reptile effect and make 600 for every measurement. Make sure the shape layer has no stroke. Now go to contents rectangle gradient field and click the start point. You should have this gizmo. Adjust this gizmo like this. Now apply here transform effect and also a fast blur effect. Skew it a little bit like this and make a fast blur effect of 20 pixel. Now reduce its opacity about 80%. Now drag it to the second layer and make alpha matte outline. Select top two layer and make a pre-composition, name it outline. Now go to the composition, select all those layers and make them 3D. Now create a null object and parent them, parent the previous two layers with null one. Now reveal its rotation by pressing R and also make it 3D. Now make it uh, animation of Y rotation like this. It should look like this. Now go to your main composition and apply eco effect to your outline precomp. Now follow my instruction. So now it should look like this. 
now apply a fast blur effect and make an animation of this now select those keyframe right click keyframe assistant and make them easy ease Now make all the keyframes easy ease. Now create a black solid and apply grid effect. Make it invert, adjust the borders and corner also. That should look like this. Now apply a transform effect, make a slight rotation. It should look like this now. Now duplicate it and delete all those grid and transformation effect. Apply a gradient ramp effect. Now select the previous layer and rename it grid and select this layer and rename it ramp. Now set luma mat for grid layer. Now adjust those gradient ramp controller and swap the color. Now select ramp and grid layer and cut down them to 2 seconds and pre-comb them and name them reflect logo you can also cut it down now select the logo layer make a duplicate by pressing ctrl d now set alpha mat for reflect logo now drag the top copy of your logo below reflect logo now select reflect logo and reduce its opacity to adjust your reflection and you can also go to the composition and adjust your grid and also the ramp effect as your test and you can also give it a fast blur to blend it a little bit more now it should look like this now create a null object Now select all layer except the background and null and make it connected with null, null layer. Now create a scale animation for the null layer like this. And make it easy. easy. Actually, I am going to give it a 75%. Again, select all the layers except the background and make a pre-comp 
name it everything just duplicate it by pressing ctrl D and make the below layer 3D and move it like this because we are going to use this as a shadow of our logo now apply here fast blur and a fill effect make the color ash and give it a fast blur adjust it, its rotation according to your test and make the opacity 46% actually I am going to reduce it a little bit so you are almost ready now give it uh, the flares just bring them down drag them according to your timeline now make them screen blend mode and bring down your audio uh, there is a there should be a smooth transition between your flare stop and your real footage so we are making a opacity transition like this you can do this okay so you are ready to go if you like my tutorial then click the like button if you have any problem regarding this tutorial you can comment down below and if you are new to my channel then don't forget to subscribe because some more awesome tutorial is yet to come